Hello guys, welcome back. This is Modern Man here today, and today we are doing yet another deck tech. Another deck I would love to be able to play in Modern, and that deck is called Troll, Troll Worship. This deck has been around since, I believe, the beginning of Modern. Beginning of modern. I can't exactly remember, it's been way too long. But, let's go ahead and jump right into the deck tech, and let's uh, delve right into what we have in the deck. First of all, this is our deck list. And uh, this deck's a semi-budget deck, depending on what your uh, parameters for a budget are. I consider any deck less than $100 for modern budget, and then less than like $125, a semi-budget deck, sort of. And the deck's really not that expensive. Um, the most expensive cards in the deck are Thrun. And the fetch lands, you don't even need fetch lands. Fetch lands are just nice to have in the deck. But Thrun is the most expensive, and unfortunately, I do believe you need to have some number of copies in your deck. Uh, your sideboard, as I always say, every game, it always depends on what metagame you're trying to play in and everything like that. So your sideboard not might not want to match up perfectly with mine. For mana wrap creatures, we have four Birds of Paradise, four Sylvan Caryatid. Um, it's very important to be playing some number of mana wrap creatures in the deck. Because the, the card you're trying to wrap into costs four mana. And overall, you just want to play that as uh, most efficiently and as quick as possible normally. Um, uh, since Sylvan Caryatid has Hexproof, that will come into play later. But it is more of a mana ramp creature uh, plus a Hexproof creature. Next, we have the Disruption Spells. We are playing four Path to Exile or Oblivion Ring Path. Just always a good removal spell for any creature in the format. Tarmogoyf. Um, Death Shadow, Goblin Guide, any good creature is hit by Path. Oblivion Ring is also good. It hits Planeswalkers, other pesky enchantments, other creatures. Then we go into why the deck called is called Troll Worship. It's called Troll Worship because of this card specifically called Worship. Three colorless, one white, enchantment. Damage that would reduce your life total to less than one. Instead, reduces it to one if you control a creature. So basically, you want to play as many value hexproof creatures and cards in your deck. This is where Sylvan Caryad comes into play. It's also a mana wrap creature, and it's good to worship because it can't be targeted and removal spelled away. And this deck does um, have problems with Wrath of God, Supreme Verdict, Damnation cards like that. But a lot of decks aren't playing those cards anymore. So I think this deck is in a decent position right now. Not awful. But you want to play Worship when you have a Hexproof creature. And the Hexproof creatures in the deck are these. We have four Prowling Separapard. Separapard. I have no idea how to say that. The Cat Snake. Th four three for colorless green green. Can't be countered and can't be count or Creature spells I control can't be countered. Interesting. Uh, he actually does not have Hexproof. I do not know why I put him on this page. Um, He's not bad. Maybe you want to play... um. Like a troll aesthetic over Troll aesthetic would be fine. I just wanted to try them out in the deck, so I, I figured I would play some of them in here. And then you have four Witch Stalker, Hexproof, 3-3. Three, three. Whenever an opponent casts a blue or black spell during your turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on Witch Stalker. It's a 3-3 three, three Hexproof that does other things you need it to be doing. Um... Then you have your Thrun the Last Troll, 4-4, four, four, Hexproof, can't be countered, can't be targeted by spells or abilities your opponent's control, and you can regenerate it. So it basically does the same thing as Troll Aesthetic does, but it costs one more mana and it. A plus two, or plus one, plus two body. You have Scar to Host of Herons as a one-of. Flying Hexproof spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause you to sacrifice permanents. Good ends Liliana of the Veil, Cruel Ultimatum, any sack outlet cards. You don't really see much of that in modern. I guess Smallpox it also stops. But it's also um, just a 5-5 five, five flying hexproof is the main reason it's in the deck. But it's also got that nice side effect, which will help out in some cases. Then some of your card advantage cards, you have two Eternal Witness to reoccur some of your cards, get back your worship if they kill it, things like that. Four Harmonize, um, the best green draw spell in the format, probably the best green draw spell that I'll ever print. And you have one Sun Titan. This is a really good card, 6-6 six, six or 6 mana with Vigilance. You get something back when you play it. Nothing can really be said that already has not been said about Titans for the modern metagame. For your lands, you have 4 Windswept Heath, 
four Temple Garden, two Stirring Wildwoods, one Gavity Township. Obviously, you need your fetches. Uh, Temple Garden, Green White Shockland, Stirring Wildwoods, uh, Creature Land. Not bad. Three mana make it a three four. An all right one. It's not. It's not nearly as good as like Creeping Tar Pit, Raging Ravine, or any of the other good ones that are played in modern. But it's not bad. It blocks a Delver. Blocks any flying creature well. And you have your Gavany Township. You guys getting like a, a board stall where you need to pump your dudes up some more, get some extra damage in. Ghost Quarters to beat the Valakut decks, not beat, uh, slow them down, and the Tron decks. Two Treetop Village, three Plains, three Forest. Play Treetop Village for the same reason you play Stirring Wildwood, except for it doesn't block. It's just a more aggressive on the ground creature. And for the sideboard, we have two Blessed Alliance, good against Infect, good against Death Shadow, good against um, the Kiln Fiend decks, good against Burn, one Rest in Peace, good against any Graveyard deck, Tarmogoyf deck, Snapcaster deck, Toon Stony Silence, good against Affinity, or Eggs, um, I'm trying to think, it was a Tesserator, it's also fine against, Tron, it's good against, you have Core Firewalker, good against the Burn decks, Nature's Claim, good against Boggles, Good against any enchantment deck, good against affinity, choke, good against any blue deck. I just like playing choke whenever I get the chance. Um, one sort of feast and famine, one sort of fire and ice. Both uh, reasons you play those swords, it gives you good, like a silver bullet. It gives you protection from removal spells, tarmogoyfs. A fire and ice gives you protection from bounce spells, vapor snags, burn spells, lightning bolts, and things. That's just the, the gist of the deck. There's not really a whole lot to be talked about. It's just a really straightforward deck. Pretty cheap, too. But if you guys remember, if, remember if you guys want to see more content like this, remember to smash that thumbs up button. Really appreciate it. Helps out the channel a lot. Go ahead and comment down below with any deck suggestions, any of the things like that. If you want me to see new deck decks or anything you change about the deck, remember to subscribe to the channel. You can see more awesome content like this on a daily basis. And I hope you guys have a good night. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.